we can do like a Q and A for about maybe ten minutes. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me anything. So Ellen just asked me how many agents I approached before I found my agent. Um, I submitted to about eight agents. I just came up with eight. Like I found some of them randomly. Some of them were people I I knew of through other authors. Um, and my agent was basically the eighth one. So everyone else had rejected me. And then she got back to me about 10 months after I sent her the query letter. So I was trying to convince myself that I should do another round of submissions, but luckily she called me. <laughs> Priya asked what made me decide to use the fairy tale format. What made me choose that as, as opposed to just a non-fairy tale? Uh, honestly, this is going to sound bad, but uh, when I decided to write Ash, I thought I would do a fairy tale retelling because I figured I already knew what happened. <laughs> I was like, oh, I already know what the plot is. <laughs> that was not true. I had no idea what happened. <laughs> so just be forewarned. So the question is, how did I find time to write well? Um, for, it took me a long time, like for the first few years I was working on this book, remember it took me eight years? Yeah. The first few years, I wasn't very good at that. Um, ultimately, towards the end, I managed to get this job at this website called After Ellen. And um, it was a part-time job, so I worked half, like 25 hours a week. And I managed to scrape by on that, and I wrote the other half of the week. This lasted for about six months. And then um, after that, I basically wrote all Friday afternoons. So I didn't go out. My friends might remember, I had this thing where, there's Heidi back there we, we, raising a glass. Yes, I had this rule where I would not go out on Friday nights. This happened for a long time. So I basically gave up my social life one night of the week. It was very hard because I was single. So that's probably what happened, you know, I was at home working on my Cinderella book. <laughs> Thinking of what kind of woman would I like to meet? Yeah. I'll just write it down. So it was actually good. I didn't go out on Friday nights for quite a while. <laughs> the question was if I'm working on another book. I am working on another book. I just turned in the second draft of uh, a companion novel to Ash. It's not a sequel. It's set kind of hundreds of years before Ash in the same kingdom. But there are not really any crossover characters. It's uh, it's a fantasy, it's an adventure, there's a quest. There are lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm working on. It should come out uh, next year at, at about this time. The question was what tips would I give to someone who's also trying to write a book? I guess my main advice is to don't give up because no one else is gonna write it for you and no one is really gonna tell you it's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, it's not a very lucrative job, and it's just, I mean, it's like saying you're going to become an actress. So, you have to believe, you're, you have, I'm serious, right? It's like a dream for many people, and some people make it. And those people have to really persevere and believe in themselves, because everybody else is going to think that you're, like, crazy. So, you have to do it. So, I guess the question was whether... I can look at my own work with an editor's perspective, That's essentially. It. See, you edited my question. <laughs> well, you know, I, I was an editor too, so I, I got used to editing. And um, I think that for me, I can see things that are wrong with it. Like, my most, the book I just finished, as I wrote the first draft, I kept hearing in my head my editor's voice. Like, hearing her asking me questions, like, why is this happening? What is this person doing here? What's the, pers what's the point of this chapter? <laughs> can you speed this up a little? Like, I can hear, and she asked me to do all those things. So, I, I can definitely, yeah, I'm getting better at seeing what needs to happen to structure a novel. It's new to me, like, I haven't, this is, I mean, I wrote those three novels when I was a dark teen, but, these are novels I've actually thought of as a professional, so it's a different thing. The question was, am I going to adapt it for the screen? I personally know nothing about screenwriting, so I mean, if anybody wanted to make an offer on it, that's great, but I, I, I mean, I would give them the rights, they can develop it. 
I respect screenwriters. I, I don't know anything about it. I was an entertainment reporter for a while, and it's like, I, I don't know how to write a script. <laughs> the question was, what did I read over those eight years that sustained me? I read a lot of Pema Chodron. <laughs> I'm serious. It was, uh, I, I, in terms of fiction, I honestly can't remember. I, I didn't read a lot of um, young adult fiction until after I had sold Ash. So during the time that I was writing it, I was reading what I would normally read, which was a lot of crime fiction. I, I love crime fiction. I read a lot, like every single book Michael Connelly's ever written. I, I, had, I went through this phase where I really loved all the LA detective novels. <laughs> Um, I read nothing that was like this. <laughs> I thought that there's a fairy in this book, and uh, Cinderella has a fairy godmother, but in my book, the fairy godmother is a male fairy, and he's not, he's not quite as nice as the fairy godmother of Disney legend. And um, he's based on traditional Irish folklore, and those fairies are kind of evil and creepy, kind of like vampires. And, <laughs> I thought I was being really original by like, creating this fairy guy and putting him in my book. Lo and behold, Ash is coming out and I realized evil fairies are like the huge thing in young adult fiction. I had no idea because I didn't read any of it. So. <laughs> You know, yeah, I went to Spirit Rock. <laughs> Back to Buddhism. I, um, I went to Spirit Rock twice. They have this creativity retreat in September every year. It's seven nights silent retreat, and you do it. They have, uh, they have painting and writing um, and also meditation. So I, I went on it twice, and it completely helped me focus on this book. So honestly, Pema Chodron really did inspire me to work on this book. And, uh, so those two retreats, those two self meditation retreats, also were wonderful. The question was, have I read the Twilight series? I've read the first book. I've read Twilight. Um, my publisher is Lil Brown, so they published Twilight. Uh, I've read it. I saw the movie. <laughs> Amy, we went to see it at the Fairfax Theater on like opening weekend, and it was full oh of teens. I loved it. <laughs> It was so great. There were all these boys there with their dates, right? Screaming at the screen, like, I love you, Edward. 